It's lived for eight million years, but only been known to the world for a century and a half. It's cute, but beastly. It eats a lot, but doesn't reproduce a lot. It's a global star, but only endemic to China. Hmm, what could it be? Shomar. Shomar. It means giant panda in the local Sichuan dialect. On the 150th anniversary of the species scientific discovery, we venture across the panda capital of the world in search of secrets behind this extraordinary animal. How did the panda become known? How is this rare species being protected? What is it really like? And why do people across the globe love it so much? This is Discover China. To find the answers, we start by retracing the steps of Armand David, a French zoologist and botanist. After being posted to China in 1862, he spent the following 12 years studying hundreds of unidentified plant and animal species for the National Museum of Natural History in Paris. It was while exploring these very lands of Baoxing's Deng Shikou village that Armin David unveiled the biggest one of those secrets. A black and white bear that, little did he know, would go on to become one of the world's most adored animals. On March 11, 1869, David came across some rather peculiar animal skin in the house of a local villager named Li Pinchan and believed it could be from a new species. Driven by his curiosity, David hired hunters to scout Baoxing's mountains. Three weeks later, he finally laid his eyes on a live bear. David then attempted to send what he described as the prettiest of species to Paris, but the bear died on the way there. He then decided to send it as a specimen to the museum. There, the giant panda was declared as a new species. Thanks to this history, Baoxing is now known as the hometown of the giant panda. Every now and then, villagers spot giant pandas walking along roads, sleeping on trees and even making uninvited visits to their homes. The giant panda was once widespread across China, as well as parts of neighbouring Myanmar and Vietnam. But as human populations started expanding, bamboo forest lands started decreasing. On top of human threats like climate change, poaching and deforestation, natural disasters have also pushed the black and white bear to the brink of extinction. In spite of these tremendous challenges, China has remained adamant about saving the bear. These baby pandas right here were born last summer. Their breeders work around the clock to ensure their survival, as they are still vulnerable at this stage of development. Breeding and research bases are one of the many measures that have been taken to protect and raise the number of giant panda. Despite female pandas only being fertile for about two or three days a year, 48 panda cubs were born in captivity in 2018 in China, of which 45 survived. Efforts have also been put into protecting and restoring habitats, expanding and building nature reserves, as well as conducting international cooperation on wildlife conservation. And those measures have been paying off. The latest census from 2015 also found that there were 1,864 giant pandas living in the wild, up from 1,114 in the 1980s. Meanwhile, their wild habitat nearly doubled to 2.58 million hectares and the number of nature reserves jumped from 15 to 67. Why am I dressed as a wild panda, you ask? Well, behind me is a panda mother and her cub and the cub is currently receiving training so it can be released into the wild. So that means the entire environment must replicate a wild setting, including its breeders. Rewilding giant pandas is the ultimate goal of captive breeding. Since 2003, China has released 11 pandas into the wild, with nine of them still out there in good condition. In 2016, the status of the giant panda was downgraded from endangered to vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, demonstrating how an integrated approach can help save our planet's vanishing biodiversity. But that doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. Pandas are currently restricted to around 33 isolated patches of bamboo forest land in just six mountain ranges across Sichuan, Gansu and Shanxi. But the good news is that a 27,000 square kilometre giant panda national park, which will span across these three panda provinces, is now being built to connect the fragmented patches and increase habitat area. I think that pandas are well protected in China, like all the ones we've seen today look very happy and very content. 
Did you know that only 17% of the bamboo that pandas eat can be digested by their bodies? Which explains why they have to eat 12 to 38 kilograms of the plant every day. And that can take up to 14 hours. Here are some more fun panda facts. A panda's average lifespan in the wild is 19 years, while in captivity they can live longer than 30. A panda is partly white to help it hide in snow, and partly black to help it trap heat and stay warm. A panda's reproductive rate is about one cub every two years and multiple births are extremely rare. A newborn panda cub weighs just 90 to 130 grams, which is one thousandth the size of its mother. Between 1957 and 1982, the Chinese government gifted 24 giant pandas to nine countries as a symbol of international friendship. In the late 1980s, however, a declining panda population and increasing awareness of wildlife protection prompted China to halt its gifting program to instead focus on cooperative breeding and research projects. By November 2018, China had successfully cooperated with 22 zoos across 17 countries, which now hosts a total of 58 giant pandas. Initially unleashed after scientific discovery, global panda mania is still going strong today. Their births, birthdays, zoo arrivals and deaths make international news, while online videos of their everyday lives at conservation parks continue to go viral. The animal is even the subject of the popular Hollywood cartoon franchise Kung Fu Panda. I think the panda are the doctor of the heart. In a world where countless plants and animals are becoming threatened and endangered, panda protection can inspire ecological civilization around the globe, including green development and harmony between humans and nature. Some of the key messages that are being highlighted at the ongoing International Horticultural Exhibition in Beijing. From hidden species to icon of China, from endangered to face of global wildlife conservation, from hunter's prey to A-list celebrity, our beloved giant panda has quite the history. As for its future though, it will undoubtedly continue to inspire science and public imagination, but most importantly, it will continue to survive. See you next time.